Good afternoon, everyone, and a very warm welcome to this session on Adobe Express. We are here to talk about Express with Adobe Express. But before everything, a very happy new year to each and every one of you. And I wish and pray the best for each one of us. And may this year bring us many, many opportunities for learning something new, learning something great, and just make our impact on education. I greatly appreciate your taking time to join these sessions. And uh, we are trying to, uh, you know, know over here your interest, your needs, your requirements. So as far as creativity is concerned, do let us know how you would, uh, what is it that you would want to learn and uh, how can we make your journey more impactful and make your, uh, you know, teaching learning process better uh, in terms of uh, using technology or using pedagogy as you like it. So we are here as your partners in learning and uh, please do let us know if we can help make teaching learning a better, uh, you know, uh, a better opportunity for you and your students. We are right here. Towards this, I think there are many ways in which we engage and uh, we do, uh, you know, keep you informed through WhatsApp groups, through our Instagram page and through our Facebook page, through our LinkedIn page and our websites that what is it that's coming up and what's new. So do please, uh, you know, uh, keep an eye on what's going on. And uh, in case uh, you uh, do not follow us, on um, Instagram, I'll share the QR code and the handle in the chat window. And uh, please do follow us. It's uh, at least twice a week minimum. Actually, uh, I think every uh, leaving two days, so every third day, we try and post something new so that you have something uh, to take back from our page. I'm going to drop the link as well in the chat window. Please follow us there. There are micro uh, learning sessions that we, you know, uh, engage in and we uh, uh, share with everybody. And there is there is a lot uh, of late that we are doing on AI and what are the tools that make sense. We had a, uh, and I think all thanks to you all, we had a fabulous uh, nurturing education summit and uh, you know the way everyone responded we had over um, i think uh, 400 participants on day 1 which was a mind share day and day 2 which was a training day we had about 48 participants who attended uh, training different modules so we had five uh, sessions. So we had uh, in, in every uh, session, we had a minimum of 40 to 42 people who were uh, getting trained on various facets of uh, AI. So if you're interested in knowing anything about the sessions that we host, please do join us. And we are not really looking for large numbers. We are looking for meaningful interactions. Our uh, email ID is in the chat window again. And uh, thank you uh, for joining us. Let's now jump into, and of course, you know, I shouldn't uh, miss the chance to introduce the team here. I have uh, Ms. Mahima Gupta and Ms. Doita Parma here from our team who are watching the chat window very closely. So if you have any questions, any queries, please put it in the chat window. We'll make our best effort to answer it right away. If not, then we will come back to you. And uh, the note on which I want to open this session is that I think if we look around, you will see whether you go on LinkedIn or you go on any of the hiring uh, you know, uh, platforms, you'll see that 90% of hiring managers agree that creativity is the key when evaluating candidates for a job. Now, if that's the requirement, then I think it is our opportunity as an uh, educator to bring creativity into our classrooms. In keeping with that, Adobe has uh, brought Adobe Express free of cost to all schools, districts, universities, and uh, that will allow students to create stunning visuals, videos, and web page absolutely seamlessly. And you will see how within minutes we will be able to access this. Now, this free access is given school-wide. So if your school is interested in uh, this opportunity, simply just write to us and we will connect Adobe to you and we will facilitate the entire process of getting your school Adobe Express premium licenses at no cost for all teachers and 
all students above grade six. So every teacher can have access, but as far as students are concerned, we, we, we like to suggest that it's grade six onwards because of age limitations. However, if your school has permissions, we are happy to offer you for all grades as well. And many of us do that, that you know, many of our schools have given access to all their students and teachers. So now coming to what is Adobe Express, I think you've heard this word enough. It's now time to actually take you to Adobe Express and show you what it is and talk a little more about it. Adobe Express is a new tool that Adobe has offered, which is a combination of what used to be Adobe Spark. So Adobe Spark has been uh, given added features of Adobe Premium Rush, Adobe, uh, you know, uh, Photoshop Express, and Adobe web pages and videos. So all these capabilities along with PDF services, I know this is one of the top most asks of teachers. How can we combine PDF? How can we edit PDFs in a simple way? And sometimes, you know, shuffle pages, make changes. So all of that along with Adobe stock images for K-12 only, which means no odd or uh, unrequired or unwanted images will come up and new education templates are also available. So with all of that, Adobe Express is bringing us an opportunity where we can create so much. And of course, this is creativity for all. And today we are nothing without AI. AI is seamlessly integrated in the entire platform. I shall show you multiple ways in which you will see AI come alive alongside generative AI and the generative AI piece is amazing. But for that, I wouldn't be touching upon today. You can actually go to our Instagram page uh, and access that there. But on another opportunity, I would love to come back to tell you more about generative AI. That's actually the buzzword. So with Adobe Express, what we can do is we can create either on a browser, which is a browser based version or on a mobile phone. Currently, the mobile phone version is not connected or related to what you're doing online, but very soon you will hear that the both have already been connected and that whatever you create on web and on mobile will be av available seamlessly. The mobile version is literally an express version, like if you want to create something on the go, you can always create. So you can go to your app store and look for Adobe Express. You will get that and you can download it. Today, I'm going to talk about only the web version, which is that you have to go to a browser and use the link express.adobe.com to actually uh, access it. I'll be dropping all these links in the chat window so you don't have to worry about anything. We will be uh, looking at Adobe Express from a new lens today that uh, you know has been provided to us. So if you're looking to go hands-on, uh, grab a, a, a laptop or a desktop if you can and uh, go with me. I've given you the link in the chat window. So what will you be able to create? Multiple things. Amongst those things, you will have presentations, reports, documents and PDFs. You can have flyers and, uh, you know, ads, social media, uh, uh, you know, related materials that you create, um, video stock images, uh, photography and graphics, brochures and web pages. All of these are very selective uh, things that I mentioned here. There is so much more that you can do. And the best part are the quick and easy templates. These templates are royalty free. It have royalty free images. They are just good to go. You can just start using them literally. And I can't wait to introduce these to you. And of course, more on it, I'm going to bring to you uh, after I have taken you to the platform. So straight on from here, I'm taking you to Adobe Express and um, I will go ahead and share my screen on this now. This is new.express.adobe.com. Uh, new I've given you the link in the chat window. What can you do here? You can do many extraordinary things. So here's an introduction. And of course, you can read the terms of use and privacy as well. As you move onwards over here, all you need to say is I agree. Sign in with your preferred email ID. If you are a school, then please use only your school ID. I already use this very frequently. Therefore, it will log me in automatically and I can go in and start using. Now, when you come to this page, you will be offered uh, to sign in with your school. That's the safest way to uh, sign in and use Adobe Express. It's better to use it as a school 
For a very simple reason, the safety and security issues are taken care of. The IDs can be federated for you either with Microsoft IDs or Google IDs as you like it. Okay. Now on this page, I'm going to go for deep pedagogics, not personal, because again, I need the education, uh, you know, security and education features to kick in. Therefore, I'm using my education account to get access. Duita has already been kind. She has dropped our email ID once again in the chat window. Simply just write to us and we'll be happy to facilitate. Now, um, I'm going to go from ground scratch as in when you log in, what happens? Uh, this has actually opened up my one of my uh, you know creatives. I'm going to go ahead and click on this left side. This A symbol tells you that you are in Adobe Express. Yeah, see over here you have Adobe Express written over here. On the right hand side, you will see me logged in, right? And I know that I'm in the education version because the first tab that I have over here is education and I have educator resources here. Yeah, so these are the essentials to make sure that you have signed in using your education access only. I know what must be exciting you the most will be this last one, generative AI, but why should I be telling you everything when you can do so many things yourself? No, 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 I will, but not just today. So here's the education version and there are multiple educator resources here. When I click on education resources, you will see that it's giving you multiple things here between uh, amongst those are uh, creative education challenges. They are very amazing challenges that are ready to go into your classroom. All right, so uh, this one we will be covering on, uh, that, correct me if I'm wrong, 24th of January. Yes, when we have, yeah, when we have our meetup and uh, here are the challenges for students or everyday generative AI Adobe Express. How can you use these lessons? Now, these are ready lesson plans that can go into your classroom. And this is my favorite place. Why? Because these are adaptable templates for your classroom. I'll go to view all and show you. Look at that. Any grade that you're teaching, you will find resources that are good to go into your classroom. You want to do a book review, you can simply change the background to white and all the uh, text can be turned to a black color. Black and white image will be available. You can add your logo to it and you are good to go. So that's how you can actually look for material here. If I have to show you or demonstrate something to you over here, um, let me just show you uh, how am I going to actually find that. Now, I want to give you time to scroll through this. So I'm going to take a pause here and allow you to, uh, you know, go ahead and explore this. If you don't get this educator resources option, let me know. I will help you then uh, explore this. But I know many of you here who will sign in with your school account, uh, will get education resources or education on your page. However, if you don't, don't you worry. I'm going to show you everything. So for the next two minutes, I request you to please go ahead and sign in or log in into Adobe Express. I'm giving you this time simply to go hands on with me because I know once the training is over, we always have many questions and then it gets difficult to do it on your own. So go ahead and please uh, select uh, use the link that I have given you and simply join. And I'll move onwards from there. If you have a challenge, drop it in the chat window. We'll be able to help you. I know you're on mute. We'll be able to give you access to unmute yourself as well. Okay, 
I hope you have logged in. I'm assuming you have logged in. If you've logged in once again on the left side, you will have educator resources. When you click over here, you will then find all the resources that are there for educators. If this page goes to sleep, I'm on edge and I'm very careful. Uh, it does uh, you know, offer you another refresh. Simply just refresh from top. Here you are. Do not try this now. I know you'll get engaged. So all you need to do is simply just scroll here and look at various options that are available to you. <coughs> and just in case you do not have access, don't worry. Just click on Adobe Express over here. And now over here, type worksheets. Okay, let's say I'm looking for worksheets. Simply just type worksheets and you will get 1400 templates. Can you believe it? Now over here, when I save you all, you will get all these templates. You could go subject wise, you could go topic wise. Look at this, something as complex as a literary analysis. Imagine a literary analysis uh, page available to you and ready to use. How are you going to use it? In just about a few minutes. I don't want you to miss out on exploring this. Therefore, I'm giving you a few minutes to explore. And don't worry, I'm going to show you many things here. So all I did was I went to the main page and in the search bar here on the top black panel, I typed worksheets. So let's say I want a worksheet on um, atoms. Here you go. You will find multiple worksheets over here. You have multiple templates. I'll go on view all and there are so many things. Now you have to be very specific like you know, with uh, you know AI bringing you materials, it's only as good as you ask it to be. Therefore, please look at the kind of material that you're looking for. Are you looking for atomic structure? Are you looking for, uh, let's say, atomic structure, right? You'll see that my collection changes. Now, on atomic structure itself, on the first page, sorry, on the last search, it did not give me these many worksheets. Now, look at this. It's literally good to go. You can simply pick up worksheets from here and the pedagogics in partnership with Adobe has uh, designed multiple lesson plans for grades six, seven, eight uh, for CBSE textbooks where we have taken resources from here itself and given you opportunities to use this in your classroom. Soon you will see uh, those available for you as well. Yeah, so these are some of the things that I wanted to uh, share with you. Any questions in the chat window, Dorita, Maima? Uh, yes, Minakshi, ma'am. Uh, we have Sushila uh, Kaliraman, ma'am. Uh, she has said that she has gone through and scrolled the page. She's asking whether these resources are available for senior classes, subjects like accounts, economics, psychology, etc. Okay, thank you, uh, Sushila, ma'am, first of all, for your time and coming in here. Being a principal and being so proactive is very rare, and you are one of those rare principals. So thank you. Uh, you know, here you have everything that is topic related. Let's say in accountancy, you're looking for, uh, let's say an economic survey has happened, right? I'm just typing something very randomly. So I am just going to say uh, an economic survey. You might find a template over here. I have done one on population and I know that is a chapter in, I think, geography where we had to do, uh, uh, I think uh, we had to create a graph, first a survey, then analysis on the population of India as compared to other countries. So you could choose a country of your choice. So yes, uh, those kind of templates are available. And sometimes what happens is, for example, presidency of George Washington, and you don't want to see presidency of George Washington, you might want to see your principle. You could always tweak this. So when you will find these templates, these are all tweakable. They're all adaptable. I'm going to show you. And these are one of my favorite ones where the lab reports. Lab reports really don't have to be, you know, very boring. Look at this one. This could actually, you know, invite me to write something about the experiment that the teachers brought to us. We've used these kind of templates a lot in our subjects. In fact, across subjects. I'm going to pause to see if there are more questions before I start remixing these templates and my fingers just can't wait to remix this. 
Dwita, any more questions? Uh, we have Pankaj Shah, sir, who is writing that he's not able to click open the link. He has opened the link, but it's blank and nothing is visible on the Adobe Express uh, page. OK, so uh, so I'm going to drop the link once again. It's simply uh, express.adobe.com. I'll just give you. Could you please check? I've dropped a link in the chat window. Could you please check if that works for you? Any other question? Uh, not as of now. OK, great. Fantastic. So uh, please do keep asking. No question ever is in the wrong time, so please do ask. All right, let's say here's a blue green science lab. Uh, it's a report and I want to remix this. I know the first thing that we can't afford in schools is color printouts. So if you're giving a digital one, this is great. You can literally use as it is. If you're not using a digital one, then you could actually just simply, uh, you know, select all the uh, graphics here, turn them into black and white and use it. How are you going to use this? I'm just going to start using this in front of you so that we all see how this can be used. Now, and on the face of it, this is the interface. The options over here, if I cross this out, the options over here, if I go from left to right, are all your options are available here on the left. And the minute you rest your cursor over there, it'll tell you what is it that you need to do. Yeah, so it'll give you everything. For example, if you want to search and you've landed here, but you're still not sure and you still want to continue searching, you can always search for templates or, you know, some projects or anything over here as well to your stuff. What is your stuff? When I click out of this, I'll not go out of here, but it will show me all the files that I have been working on. Now, as you can see, I have I have multiple files here on which I've been working. So here's a quick access to all that you have been working on. Yeah. Uh, next is templates. Yes, templates are available here as well. Now, let's say I like this, but uh, I just remembered that I think I might need another page on it which means just this page might not suffice, right? So I can always use templates from here and uh, they will also be available uh, subject wise, topic wise. Let's say you want to search on a particular topic, you could do that. The next I can hear is that of media. Media in itself tells you media will be photographs, videos and audio. Amongst photographs, you can actually, first of all, upload your from your device as well. Let's say I want to bring in uh, one of the pictures here. Let's say here you go. I want to bring in my QR code over here. I can simply just upload it and it will appear on my image. Sorry, it's taking a bit of a time to load. So what I'll do is I'll refresh this once again so that we are good to go. All right, there you go. Yeah, always hit refresh, please. As soon as you feel that something is not right, it's either your bandwidth or something, please just simply hit uh, refresh and it should happen. And if it doesn't happen, I'm going to close the window and I'm going to try once again, but uh, it should ideally happen. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to wait. Sometimes with technology, you have to be super patient. I'm also going to go ahead and try this on another browser. I was on Safari and I imagine that I must be in. Hmm. Sorry, just give me one minute.
Okay, and we are back. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we are able to take this. Right, there you go. Now it has loaded, okay? I'm going to allow the mic so that I'm able to show you everything. Here you go. Now I was over here. Yeah, for example, I was in templates. Now you see all the templates are available. You could actually scroll here to see more templates and there are infographics here. I'm absolutely in love with them. We'll tell you in a bit about it. Graphic organizers. My God, I love them. So look at this. All these which you sit down to create yourself. All these graphic organizers are available here. Let's say you know, in uh, methods, I want my students to write uh, all the steps or I want them to create a, a kind of a chart to tell me how it is. I could actually go ahead and create another page over here or simply change that page. Now, right now, what happened is the same page that I had chosen got selected and I have uh, come on this, but I don't want that. What I wanted was I wanted a second page. Towards that, all I need to do is you see over one over here. Do you see this little one over here where I say view all pages on the right side? If I click on view all pages, there is a page over here that got created. I can add another page over here, which will be of same size or of different size as you like it. Double click here and now keep looking for the kind of uh, you know graphic that you want over here. There are multiple graphics that are available. Let's say you want, uh, you know, of a particular one. Let's say I really like this one, right? Or I like uh, this event planner or a self-care planner. Just imagine this sheet is ready to go into your classroom. You don't need to do anything, right? All it will do is take this template and create another graphic for you. Now, while this is creating this graphic, I can start adding my own media. Let's say you want to make changes to this. For example, I might not want this dotted thing here. I can simply select and delete. I might want a uh, you know white background here, or I might want uh, uh, these are the layers over here. I might want you know some changes here. So the layer in which you need that change, you can always take it up from here. That's super simple. Otherwise, simply just, you know, I just wanted to make you aware about the layers. Otherwise, simply just click here, double click, and you can actually change any word that you want. For example, instead of my schedule, um, I would say my day. Right? My children might not understand the word schedule. I mean, I'm just assuming, right? I'll say this. Okay, self-care activities, what is it that I did? I want my children to show me what is it that they did. And let's say I want to add over here this logo, which is my school's logo. Now you can reduce the size, okay? Put it here on top so that your school logo goes along with over here. Your school logo can also be stored in your stuff. Under your stuff, you have files and you have brands and libraries. Here you can simply just add your brand. Let's say my brand. You can see over here that my logo is already added. You can add your school's logo also here and store it so that when you're making, it becomes super simple for you to simply just pick up from here. It's in your stuff. Now, other than this, I invite my students to not only add pictures of what they have been doing. Let's say these are wellness pictures here. If they don't want to give their own pictures, they can always add fun pictures like this and then reduce the size and put it here. Now, what will be fun is if I don't have this background and why not? Simply just click on this image, click on this remove background and voila, your uh, you know, background is gone and only this child is here. Now the child can put this image over here that, you know, in my self-care activities, this is what I did. Yeah, so as you like it, you can start taking either images from here or you can add your own image as I had shown you when I added this QR code. Apart from that, you can even use text to image. Now text to image could be in these sizes. Any kind of image that you want, you can generate. Again, not going to that today. Another thing that you can do very quickly is either add videos or create your own video. You can even upload your own video from here. Let's say I'm looking at all these options and I want to see what is it that I want to add. Maybe I went outdoors today and I want to bring in that video over here. I can simply click here, all right, and bring it over here. I've shown you that once. What I want to show you is something new. 
what I can do is I can go to audio. Now, first I've taken this picture. OK, now over this picture, I want to actually say something. Now I click on media. Go on audio. Either I upload some music from my device that I have. Or I could also go ahead and pick up a music from here. You can hear out these music. This sounds good. So what this does is this will bring in music to my entire piece. Now you want to reduce the volume because it was too loud. You could do that. There you go. Now I've made it really soft. Yeah. Why did I do that? I had another purpose. I'm going to do a voiceover over here. Let's say, you know, I'm here. Now this is my, uh, you know, my cursor and I can drag it anywhere. <coughs> Sorry. My voice is really bad right now, but I'm still going to try and give you an audio recording here. All right. I did an amazing thing today. Look at that picture to guess what I did. OK, now what has happened? You have music, you have your voiceover. So just an image that has actually become into a video. There is another scene that has been added here. Why? Because this did not have enough space for me to actually cover this. I can either drag this over here like this with a slider, make it longer or I can simply just add another image to this one. Now this is another uh, piece that has been uh, another scene that has been added. So I will click over here. Click here and now I'll go to media again, take photos and I will say. Yes, and I will try and look up an image. So what I can do is I can actually take whatever uh, picture you like. Let's say. Mm -hmm. Anything, anything that you like, you know, let's say I'm just going to take this one. I really like him. So I'm just going to click here and this image will appear on my screen. OK, it has appeared twice and I can't see it. Great. If you can't see it, simply just select it, which means layering has not happened correctly or this image hasn't come in correctly. If not, then pick up another one from here. You can see here that this is blank, right? Now there is something over here that is obstructing. What is it? Let me go to the background. Let me say no background, OK? And then try and bring this person here. I still can't see him. There is something wrong here. If not, simply I'm going to go ahead, go to the background, create a white image over here, and uh, then I'm going to add text to say yes. Now maybe I get this is nice and nothing is showing. Thank you <laughs> today that the training was to happen. Nothing is going to show. Great. So uh, Duhita, any guesses what where, where am I going wrong? It's building up layers, I believe. Uh, layers are invisible over here. So no, there's. Yes. Mm, OK, let me try something new over here. Let me just delete this. Let's try and delete this scene. Now what will happen is it'll run. Let's see how it runs. OK, I'm going to solve that a little later, but I want you to see how this is going to run and what is it going to look like? I did an amazing thing today. Look at that picture to guess what I did. Now do you see what happened? I deleted that, but my audio fitted within this frame only because I dragged this from here. However, if I want to add a scene, I can simply add a scene over here and uh, let it go blank let's say white and then start adding text let's say i want to add this there you go right so now if i want to if you want to see now it has automatically taken it over two scenes yeah so what will happen is it has uh, elongated itself and it'll take around but if you don't want to do that you can create another video let's say i'll say undo and undo because my video was perfect i'm simply just stopping here all you need to do is download and your MP4 is there. You can there is an original size. You can customize it. Best size would be 4K to pick up and simply just download.
there you go. Your video is ready. So literally from going from a graphic to adding effects to adding, uh, making into a video, uh, adding audio voiceover to adding, uh, making it a video. Everything is done within minutes. I'm going to pause. Take your questions. When actually, ma'am, we have Pankaj Shah who is asking, is this copyright free? Yes, it is. Any other question? Haven't got any more questions. No worries. Now this is all being done in the cloud. Therefore, when I click on Adobe Express over here, it will get saved automatically and you can see a little icon over here. All the projects that I have been working on have come over here at the base. So for a very quick one, I'll simply click here and bring back my work that I was uh, any piece that I was working on and I can keep on working on that. Right. Yeah, Shima, we have a very small question if we can take it. Uh, Rashmi Rekha Arya ma'am is asking, can anyone use it or do we need a license? OK, good question. Um, again, for a license, all you need to do is you need to have a school access to it, which means an individual's access cannot be given free of cost, but the entire school, a school wide access can be given. All you need to do is simply just write to us at education at deeppedagogics.com. We will take this request to Adobe, have an agreement there that we are ready to give you licenses for all your teachers and for students, preferably grade six onwards. But if you have consent from parents, we are happy to give you for all grades as well. So for all students and teachers, Adobe Premium, uh, Adobe Express Premium licenses will be given. Any other question? OK. Um, now let's say I, it's this worksheet that I'm talking about. Now this red color is hurting my eye because it can't go into print. All I need to do is simply go to background and say either white or no background as you like it. I keep it white and then everything else goes dull. So all you need to do is simply just select everything. To select everything, you don't need to go individually. Simply just drag your cursor from right to left. Everything gets selected and that's how you can actually change. If you would like, now look at this. There are multiple uh, you know, options over here. If you would like to add animation to it, you can even do that. Now, how are you going to do that over here? Uh, let's say, you know, I'm first changing the color to black, let's say here. Right. This is exactly how you do. You click on it. You click over here. You get a complete color band. You can take either black. If you're looking for a custom color, the entire band is available here. You can choose any that you want. The best part, if you feel there is a color already present, let's say there's a color in your logo or something, you can simply click on this dropper, take it anywhere on your screen. Let's say I pretty much like this color. I can make the arrow to be this color as well. Yeah, I'll very quickly show you again. Let's say this is my color. I will first hit the icon that I want to change the color for, then hit fill and then use this dropper over here on top. Yeah, there's a dropper here. Take that and I think Adobe is known for their droppers. So you'll find it easy to actually locate it and you know what is to be done. I simply click on the color. Do you see this little square that appears? It can pick up any pixeled color that you want. So if you want this lightest of the color also in any, any, uh, you know, if you see like this, the word new doesn't look pixelated. But when you go through this dropper, it looks pixelated because it allows you to pick up any minutest of the colors that is available here. Yeah, so if there are color variations there, you can pick even those. Super simple, no? Yes, it is. So all you need to do is simply just click here and let's go to swatches and take black the way I've taken. So I will do it for this one and this one as well. Sorry. Here you go. All are now black and white. And for my arrows, another way to do is because I have already chosen this color, it will also start appearing in my 
this arrow. Look, it did not look pixelated, but when I clicked on it, it was pixelated only. Yeah, over here. And I will take my, again, my dropper, literally here, and there you go. Now there's something here as well. We'll say fill it with any of these colors. Now this color has appeared over here. You can actually use this color too, to actually fill this shape. Now there are multiple other shapes over here. When you see this blue line and these dots, this means this is a group of images. Now for these group of images, you have fill as an option and you could actually fill it as black, white will not show, therefore some light color probably, or you could even choose for any of the custom colors that you want. For me right now, I think this seems pretty doable. I could bring it to be a little more bluish if I want, and it'll only print black and white when we do. Yeah. And you can add animation as well. Let's say you are sending in, you know, um, a worksheet home. So why not just try these when you rest your cursor here, it'll give you all the options as to how can you make it. I pretty much like this. I let this be there because this seems pretty inviting to my students, uh, you know, and, and, and I'm sure, you know, they'll be happy to uh, make whatever they have to over here. So my graphic organizer is ready. I'll go to your stuff add my logo over here because right now that's the only thing that's available my logo appears here i can place it wherever i want reduce the size make it bigger as you like it put it over here add your name and other columns over here let's say text and you want to say name or your name or name tag as you like it or name card you can choose any of the fonts so let's say i would like to ask them to add their name in a certain manner or a certain font. Let's say this. I can always say over here name and over here class. There you go. Oops. <laughs> Don't mind my spellings, my typing actually. So here I am. I can make the class smaller. And if I want to move this a little lower, I could do that as well. And uh, there you go. My name and class, I mean, if you want to reduce the size, I'm sure you would want to simply just drag it in from here. You're done. And all you need to do is simply just take this bunch, move it where you want to, reduce the size if you need to. And that's it. There you go. This is also ready. Now, if you feel that even within this, uh, what has happened is this line has gone here. You can move these lines as well to suit where you want them to be. Or if you want them to be bigger or smaller, it's up to you, really. And uh, here you go. I have put them here like this. Now your name and school class are here. All right. So your worksheet is ready. You can download it and you can have any. Um, OK, because I've added, uh, you know, the uh, animation to it. Therefore, it's showing me as MP4. However, you still have the option for PNG, JPEG, or PDF formats. Isn't it really great? Literally, I'll put it into PDF and it'll say that the video animation wouldn't play and that's all right. And my PDF to send home is ready. So if you send out peg, JPEGs, if you send out PNGs, as you like it, you choose your format. And the best part, if you want to share it, right from over here into Teams or your Google Classroom, that is also possible. Simply click on Teams, connect your Teams with it, and that's about it. You can send it either as um, you know um, an assignment or you can send it into your channels the way you like it. Additionally, when students are working, we like them to work collaboratively. All they need to do is over here, add this name here like this and you can send it in collaboration mode. Now I'm sending it to Duhita and she will be able to collaborate it. She can edit. I can give her either comment rights or edit rights. So if students are sending it to you, they can say add or uh, can comment. And if they are sending it to their uh, peer with whom they are working, you can say can edit. I can write a message also here and simply let's get creative and I'm going to invite this. OK, now this has gone to Duhita. She can also edit with me over here. Yeah, only people who have access can actually use that link to create. 
I'm going to pause here, take your questions before I move on to the next one. I've shown you too many things in a go, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse. Duita, Maima, any questions there? Uh, we have Amandeep Kaur, I'm asking that it's not working on her mobile. Yes, mobile features are slightly different than these. That's why I said today I'm giving you a demo of only the web version. And on our Insta page, you will find, uh, you know, um, um, multiple videos about Adobe Express. We did, I think, 10 days of Adobe Express uh, on mobile phone. You can view those. You'll be able to see it over there. Any questions that you might have? OK, as you bring in the questions, I'm going to show you some of these suggestions as educative resources. There are class projects that are also available here. As a part of the class projects, you ask your students to make a poster, to make videos, to make presentations, to make infographics, online reports, web pages, uh, cover pages, book cover, this one being my favorite one, graphic organizers I've already shown you, table of contents and much more. So you can actually start literally from here and there are quick suggestions here as well that appear. Now over here you will see these are some of the popular templates. I'm absolutely in love with the text effects which our students use, not covering these today because this is all generative AI. Then if you're doing events and clubs, you will need flyers, you will need online newsletter, you'll need invitations. For everything, there are resources available here. If you like drawing as a fun, join us on 24 Jan because we are doing a session on drawing using Adobe Express. There are wonderful options available here and you'll be amazed to see how our students can actually get creative and they do. Um, there are some educator essentials here. I've already shown you worksheets. However, you can also go from here and start creating worksheets. Let's say I need uh, worksheets on in teachers, right? Here you go. There are so many uh, worksheets that are just in teachers based that I'll never run out of them. So you want a very quick sheet. You want to bring in differentiation in your classroom. You need a very quickly a sheet which you can simply print and send out at home. You can simply go here change this background color, choose white, and there you go, your worksheet is ready. And uh, when you print, I'm sure it's gonna be black and white. If you want to change this, now for example, you might not want this dollar sign here. If you can see, you can always change this, right? So everything that is written here is changeable. Let's say rupees 40, okay? Don't mind my, uh, you know, uh, letter over here, which is not uppercase, I will make it. <clears throat> and now it has gone out of the tag space. But all you need to do is simply click here, reduce the size a little bit, adjust where you want it to be, and that's it. Your worksheet is ready. So what I'm trying to tell you here is these things are here for you, which you can use on the go, solves each equation. Math teachers, you need worksheets every day. Algebra is here. You can take a look at many, many things over here that are literally ready to go. Literally from grade uh, nursery, kinder to grade 12, you have everything over here. If you are st uh, studying stats, let's say. OK, I'm going to go and not write statistics. OK, no, I will have to write. Statistics, OK, you will see so many worksheets. Now look at this. This is one of the worksheets that we used global carbon dioxide emissions. This is the chart. You have to study it. You have to respond to these questions. This not only a language teacher can use, but the subject teacher can also use whether you are a, a statistics teacher or a science teacher or an environmental science teacher or a language teacher or a mathematics teacher. You could actually be using this worksheet in any subject. So these are very versatile work that are available here. For example, you want now the same worksheet in black and white. This is literally ready to go into your classroom, right? So uh, you can choose from any of these subject areas here. Any questions? 
Yes, Minakshi, ma'am. We have around three questions. Uh, yeah. The first question is from Rashmi Rekharia, ma'am. Uh, what about grammar worksheets? Uh, are grammar worksheets, can a person go ahead and design grammar worksheets? Uh, may I speak the next question also? Because all of them are related to worksheets okay. only. Okay. Yeah, Nitin Rathi uh, uh, sir is asking, can we make interactive worksheets also? And uh, Mosami ma'am is asking, can we draft the worksheet for future use after saving it uh, multiple times? Mm, amazing questions, I must <laughs> say. Thank you yeah. for asking those questions. So yeah, uh, Rashmi ma'am, here's yours. For grammar, you can either type grammar or type a particular type of, uh, you know, grammar element that you're looking for. Nouns, abstract nouns, uh, figure of speech or anything that you're looking uh, um, for. You can simply type and you will get, you know, um, this one thing that I started doing after using Adobe Express in our uh, trainings, I started telling teachers to start using, uh, you know, a kind of a summary sheet so that, you know, when 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 you teach something in the class, it can be reinforced because we have multiple types of learners in our classroom. Some are linguistic learners. In fact, we must encourage them to read on their own. So not just from the book is what they're learning, but they're getting more language, more words, more exposure to the same concept in another format. So if you want a reading comprehension, if you want uh, definitions, everything is available over here. All you need to do is type the right word. Let's say, I'll say definitions, right? You will see there are multiple definitions that I love this one. I've also, okay, I've used this for years and I've used it so extensively that I can tell you misinformation and disinformation. This happened in one of the workshops where uh, I was doing, um, I was doing Microsoft search coach and they said, but ma'am, uh, we don't even know how to differentiate between, is this a misinformation or a disinformation? And there I used this template because these questions came to them. So I had a follow-up session with them and I actually took this worksheet. I said, you have to know it because this is the era when you need to learn all of this. Basics, everybody learns. You know you're going to learn it any which way in your classroom. You need to go above and beyond and you can actually look for amazing worksheets and you can change get inspired from here and create your own. For example, this kind of vocabulary worksheets. We never get time to actually, you know, stop and teach that vocabulary. All we teach is spellings. We don't teach them uh, a word as a vocabulary. Now, these kind of, uh, you know, uh, worksheets can be sent. Students love using gadgets and devices. However, we or our parents might not like them. But fact is that they will pick up a device. And if they are picking up for a purpose, I think they can be nothing better than that. So here's something, you know, here's a vocabulary study. Every student every week has to look up five words and use this. Let's say I'm sending this out to my students. Yeah, that's one of the strategy that we have given in one of our English lesson plans, where we say that, you know, uh, actually I've given it in uh, English, science, or every subject, because every subject has its own vocabulary. So uh, they need to start using this and all they need to do is I simply put it over here. Now I'm answering two questions or multiple questions in a go. Number one, yes, you can get ready worksheets. Number two, you can sa save them as templates and send it out to your students. How are you going to do that? Uh, I want to duplicate this. OK, I want to have at least five words for my students and for each of these words, probably I could change the color or something. Now, due to paucity of time, I'm not going to get into that. But let's say every Friday, this sort of a template goes and the child has to choose five words every weekend and understand that word by not only knowing the meaning, but suffix, uh, uh, synonym, antonym, part of the speech, related word and sentence. Now, this I'm talking about senior students, right? For junior, you can bring it down, tone it down, and those worksheets are also available. Now, let's say I'm ready with this and I want to send it to my students. Now, when you're downloading this, you will see over here, uh, sorry, when you're sharing this, you will see over here an option which says publish to web. Now, on the publish button, OK, there are changes that have recently been made. Let me just one second. Just give me one minute. Yeah, when you are over here, you can actually uh, click on share and then OK, I'll go once again, share and then invite collaborators. Now, when you invite collaborators, 
you can give them access. Let's say everyone at Deep Pedagogics or anyone with this link. So you can say anyone at your school. OK, so everyone uh, at your school will be able to comment or will be able to edit. Now you're working in a collaborative mode. Yeah, so these changes have been made. Now all you need to do is simply just uh, copy this link and share it. Number one. Number two, you want to schedule this. Go to your stuff. Go to brand and libraries. Now over here, you will see you can either invite people or use as library. You can actually store it in your library and you can, uh, you know, maybe send it later. So you can post it at a later uh, uh, play a uh, later date also. Now all these options are available to you. When you click on these three dots, this is where it is. Make a template. Three dots. Make a template. If some child has made changes, you can even see version history over here. You can duplicate this file, or you can simply just make it a template. Make a template. Let's say I'll say vocab words. Right now, okay. Don't mind my typing, please. <laughs> I'm going to select which library do I want? I want to send it to class seven. Yeah. Uh, now, if you want to add more elements over here, that is add your brand. Please do that right now. This is where your brand name will come. And if you want to add uh, something like, you know, a new library where if I don't want to send it to class seven, this is where you will use it from. I can add a note which is completely uh, optional, but I'll say choose five words and make this multi-page graphic. This is called a multi-page graphic. OK, I'll say save templates and that's about it. Now creating your template in the background as this is ready, this will offer you a link. All you need to do is simply share this link with your students. This will remain as a template and your students will be able to create copies out of this. I hope you liked it. Any questions? I have, I know, two minutes to go, but I would love to answer all the questions that you might have. Now, do you see this vocab words was saved in your class seven library? I can actually go here, look at my libraries, class seven library. Do you see I have so many of them over here? I had already created. Click on the three dots, copy to or simply just duplicate this if you want to or simply just share this with your students. Yeah. I hope this helped. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, so, Menakshi, ma'am, we have Mosumi, ma'am, uh, who uh, who has shared that uh, she has liked the options of creating duplicate and uh, my library among the others. Thank you. Now what you will notice is when I use this template uh, on the top link, you will see template word gets added over there. So this becomes a template. Now I've started using it myself. Yeah, so if I've started using it, this will not because I'm logged in and I've started using. But over here, if you see this says library template ID. Sorry, I cannot highlight this, but if you can read over here, library template ID now. The minute I start clicking on it and I start saving it, so, uh, sorry, I start working, this will not remain a template anymore. Let's say definition and I want to just add S over here. There you go, right? So then it will not remain a template and it, this is a template that I'm using to create my own work. Yeah, so that's how it changes. OK, any more questions? Uh, we do not have questions, but uh, Rumpa Ma'am says that we need to practice on hands so that these features can be used with ease. Absolutely. And what are we without practice, Rumpa Ma'am? And I know you, you will simply jump on it and you will start using it straight away. Just for you wanted to show not only graphic organizers, you have flashcard sheets, flashcards, class schedules, any timetables, any planners that you want to make, any, uh, you know, teacher training or, you know, let's say record keeping that you want. All of those templates are available over here. Any other thoughts? 
And um, for you to actually continue learning, you can go to Adobe Education Exchange. It's a great place for you to learn and know more. Over here, you have teaching resources, professional learning, and of course, you have a community of educators. I'll drop this link as well in our chat window, and you can uh, explore this on your own. Here you go. Any other question? OK, I think with that, uh, I would like to bring this session uh, to a close. But if you have any questions here, I'm very much here to answer them. And you can just stay back and I would love to, uh, you know, uh, answer any any questions. And of course, if you need access for your school, you know that all you need to do is simply write to us and we will facilitate the same for you. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. And I hope this hour was fruitful for you. Dwita, in case any question comes up, please do let me know.